Now we have characters, okay? We're just going to go down the line. I'm not going to be biased. We're starting with Gold Lewis. Okay, so Gold Lewis Dickinson. Balance intentions. Expanding the hitbox of jumping HS behind Gold Lewis makes it easier to connect after jumping over the opponent. Huh? Uh, I think they actually want Gold Lewis to be Milia. I'm convinced. This, so this doesn't change anything for like the literally like the run forward jumping J like the back scratcher, but this might enable some kind of mix ups, some crazy mix ups. So we'll see. Uh, this makes his pressure from close range even more potent. <laughs> Fantastic. Cool. Uh, Thunderbird now disappears and Gold Lewis takes damage, making it more challenging to launch an aggressive approach. Very good. Very good arc system works. They're finally doing something right. Thunderbird has been broken for the entirety of season two. It not going away on hit means... Uh, it doesn't really hurt the the strongest characters in the game because they have good ways to deal with drone. The problem is uh, the character. It just made Goldos win more against bad characters, <laughs> which is not what Goldos needed, right? And also, it's just cheap and scrubby, and I didn't like it. And I'm very glad that they changed it. All right, let's read the things. Standing K added stagger effect on counter hit. Oh my god! Woo! Standing K is gonna give a. Is it higher attack level now? Is that what they're saying, or just like in a stagger effect on counter hit? So. It must mean higher attack level, right? Maybe that's not what it means. Anyways, I guess easier to confirm off of it. We'll see. Hopefully that has other implications like 5K into like, like the 5K follow-ups are better. That'd be awesome. Like five 5K, like 268, like universally frame trapped. That'd be cool. Jumping JS, expanded hitbox and hurtbox behind Gold Lewis. That's awesome. We'll see how that plays out. Thunderbird, we just read that. Uh, the attack hitbox now disappears when Gold Lewis takes damage. The hit effect of the final hit now varies depending on the security level. Oh my god, wait, they might have buffed Thunderbird too. This could mean like you're more plus the higher security level. Because as it is right now, Thunderbird is like the same. It's like plus one. Uh, like the final hit is like plus one. Obviously, you can act before, so it's like plus a million technically, right? But if they make the final hit like on level three, like plus 10, I mean, not probably not that serious, but like plus five, it'll be a lot easier to like follow up uh, in situations where you have to like chase and make distance. So that's interesting. Uh, that could only mean a buff, by the way, because it was like w plus one. And so yeah, that has to be a buff. And burn it down all versions, increase number of hits. I'm very happy we see this because uh, one of the changes, one of the requested changes I wanted for Gold Lewis was for burn it down to be usable because it's just an unusable super. It's just not good. Hopefully this uh, gives us something else to use. Overall, I'm happy with the Gold Lewis changes. I would wish that we'd get like a little more to work with, like something fun but we'll see how much fun we can get from that JH change and from the JK change as well. All right, we're scrolling all the way to the top now. We're going uh, up, down. Okay, Soul Bad Guy. By the way, I'm going to tell you guys the characters I'm interested in at the start. If, if I'm interested in picking them up. Soul, I'm interested. If this character had, gets cool stuff, I'm interested in playing him. Okay, the extended range of Standing H makes his offense using Standing Far Slash even more potent. Okay. Okay, dude, this 5H is bigger. That was already a good button. Okay, that's actually sick. Hopefully it's like a big, a big buff too. Like I, I need big range on that thing. That's cool. While it is now more cha uh, more challenging for him to get huge reward for mid range. Oh, <clears throat> nerf. Uh, the chain, no, I'm kidding, not nerf, but uh, uh, the changes to gun flame make him better at poking for mid range. Ooh, okay, so they're helping his neutral out. It seems like it's more of a neutral thing, and then maybe it'll have some offensive implications. We'll see, though. So, success, decreased attack level. De success, decreased attack level. No longer launches the opponent on grounded counter hit. Let's go to the next character, bro. Dude. <laughs> they nerfed a 6 H and then nerfed a success? Oh, man, Arxis, that's... That is based. Incredibly based of you. <laughs> All right, gun flame. <laughs> Next up, we got Gunflame. Uh, decreased attack startup, decreased active frames. That hurts. Maybe it's real fast though, you know? And increased movement speed of the projectile. That's a, That might be an overall nerf. We'll see. It, you have to see it in game, you know? You have to see it in game. But uh, if Soul got better, he definitely didn't get a lot better. Next up, Kai Kisuke. I'm not really interested in him. They'd have to do something really crazy with him for me to be interested in playing this character. 
The addition of the Guard Crush effect to Sacred Edge during Shock State and Dragon Install allows him to maintain his offense regardless of range? I... The addition of the Guard Crush effect to Sacred Edge, he has Guard Crush now for his throw, strike throw game, of course, during Shock State and Dragon Install. What is Sacred Edge again? Oh, is that that's just a super, isn't it? Never mind, that's just a super, isn't it? That's the Fireball Super, right? I was going to maintain his offense better regardless. Okay, so now he just stays. He's more plus when he does that super. Okay, never mind. I read it as a complete lead. I thought it, they were talking about like Dire Claw, like it is guard crush now. I'm like, oh, what? Okay. Fudre Arc now creates less distance with the opponent on grounded hit, making it easier for Kai to continue his offense. That sounds like a buff to his strike throw for sure. Oh, it says on hit though. So just easier to... Uh, Either extended the pressure on hit or to extend his combo, probably. Maybe he gets new roots. Standing HS expanded frontal hitbox. Bro, stop buffing Kai normals, dude. You don't need to buff Kai normals. That's not what he needs. You're just making him more annoying. <laughs> All right, Fujirak decreased knockback on hit. Sacred Edge added guard crush effect to the final hit. And Sacred Edge during dragon install added guard crush to the final hit. I, uh, not interested in Kai, really. May, I am super interested in May. I hope this character gets buffs. I want to play this character. Mr. Dolphin Horizontal has less recovery now when it connects with the opponent. Le so better offense after eight? Horiz huh? When it connects, does that mean block and hit? Less recovery, that means more plus, right? This makes the S version less risky and the HS version more plus, making both more viable than before. That sounds hype. I, bro, that actually sounds sick. Okay, so now that May's more plus, she's definitely gonna have more ways to like stay in and she's gonna have better mid-screen pressure as well. That's that's cool, I'll take that. The extra distance for her to jump forward also makes her aerial approaches more potent. That's what May needed all along. Her aerial approach is just not strong enough this is true. For a jump, increase movement distance. Oh, they're serious about this. They're serious. 3K, increased active frames, reduced recovery. That's a huge buff too. Jumping uh, 2H, that's the one that goes straight down. Now triggers counter effect. Oh. Mr. Dolphin Horizontal, reduced recovery on hidden block. Arusugawa Sparkle, all versions. Is this the whale? Hitbox now remains after the projectile hits the ground. No, this is the... Uh... Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry. Wait, no, no, no. This is the beach ball. Hitbox now remains after the projectile hits the ground. Oh, so it stays active on the ground like other... Okay. So it stays as like an active hitbox that the opponent can't run through. So it's more... Uh... It's going to be more potent and neutral. All right, that's a huge W there for me. May players are feeling real good after that. Please don't buff Axel, please. That looks like buffs. That looks like buffs. That looks like buffs. Oh no. <laughs> it's a 7-3 again for gold list. I'm calling it. Okay. The ability to cancel <laughs> the ability to cancel standing P crowd. No, not later. And other pokes during the recovery on hit or block make his strength more prominent in his preferred range. He can delay it now, dude. No. It's gonna be impossible now. I can't even imagine getting in his gold voice now. If they can like delay their follow-ups after crouching me and standing P, I actually, cause we can't punish. Uh, anyways, it's all right. Let, let's just get into the, this might be rough. Okay. Rainwater now draws the opponent in both increasing the reward on hit, making it possible for Axel to maintain his offense on block. That's cool. He definitely needs some offensive help. Standing P can now be special canceled on hit or block until the recovery ends. That is such a huge buff for Axel, by the way. I just, I have to keep bringing this up. This is a huge buff for Axel. A massive buff for Axel. Uh, same thing with crouching P, standing 5H. The opponent will now be in crouching state on grounded counter hit. Oh, that's going to increase his damage. Jumping P can now be special canceled on hit or block until the recovery ends. Okay, jumping K, decrease horizontal blowback distance. Okay, jumping D, now launches opponent higher with decrease. <laughs> they want to give him bombos. They're actually giving him bombos. He's going to have dust loops. Winter Mantis, is this uh, 
Uh, what what is Winter Mantis? Is this the the fire at the end of the Ren Sen or something? Adjust a blowback when used as part of a combo. Now launch the opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback. Added tumble effect. The grab. Oh, I see. And okay, now launch the opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback. They're definitely just giving him more damage for sure, and better offense. And th these are huge buffs for Axel. Wow. Uh, snail increased knockback. That's very good. That's the one that's punishable, right? More pushback on that. And then Rainwater now draws the opponent in on hitter block. Now decreases tension balance. Balance now increases negative value. All right, so that's one that's going to give him a negative bonus faster. I'm praying for all nerfs for Chip. My whole life I've been praying on the downfall of this character. I despise them, okay? And I'm sorry if you play Chip. It's no problem. My character also lost uh, a good thing. Something that I wanted gone. Hopefully you also want your entire character gone like I do. Okay. Alpha Blade Horizontal now sends the opponent flying towards Chip, making it easier to land more hits. Okay. <sighs> okay. The reduced startup for Senshu means that in a combo from Rokusai on crouching hit, making it more rewarding. Okay, dude. okay. buffs. Buffs, okay, cool. Uh, 6H, the opponent will now be in crouching state of ground hit, cool. Uh, alpha Blade Horizontal now launch the opponent higher with increased horizontal blowback. Aerial Alpha Blade, increased horizontal blowback distance. Senshu, reduced attack startup. Is this the Rekka? I think it's the low Rekka, maybe? Anyways, Chip got buffed. Yes, please. Oh, I'm so interested in Potemkin. Give me huge Potemkin buffs, please. Okay. The additional range for his pokes, such as Far Slash and 5H, improved his mid-ranged game. Awesome. Hammerfall also allows for more aggressive approaches as the timing Potemkin can withstand attacks is now faster. That means uh, he gets armor faster, right? That's awesome. We take those. At close range, the faster startup for FDB makes it harder for the opponent to escape by jumping. Ooh. Meaning his core throw mix-up is more potent. What's FDB? Is that a... What is, what is FDP? Or that's the flick, right? Is that flick? Does that mean that we actually have a frame trap now? Where we can actually like stop them from just holding up out of everything at distance? Let's go! By the way, I say we, but I've been playing Potemkin for like three days now. <laughs> that's sick though. All right, so it sounds like Potemkin got some good buffs. So far slash bigger, bigger hitbox. Standing far, or standing heavy slash bigger hitbox. Sweep, reduced recovery. That's nice. That was already his best poke. That's great. Heat Knuckle now draws the opponent in on Guard Crush. Ooh. That means that if the opponent gets hit by it, they'll be closer, which means that the strike throw will be real. That is so nice. If you guys didn't know Heat Knuckle, if you blocked it, if they're close, you get strike throw because you, you have 2K or Pop Buster. If they're farther away, you can only use 2D, which is jumpable away. So it is just fake uh, from farther ranges. Hopefully that stops that from being the case. That's awesome. Megafist backwards, now decreased tension balance, now increases negative value. That's fine, that makes sense. Hammerfall, sped up the timing with, uh, when Potemkin can withstand attacks, expanded lower hitbox. That means that you will hit lows. Cool, pog. FDB, uh, the flick, reduced attack startup. This is great. This is great, 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 great. You know what? Uh, now that the attack startup is faster, it's probably going to make some like easier like BNBs off like regular things. So like you, you'll probably be able to do like 2P, 2P flick. And then you get a knockdown. And even if it won't be the best Oki, that matters a lot. Because uh, Potemkin 2P doesn't lead to anything right now. Nothing. Literally nothing. So that's awesome. Faust. I have a little bit of interest in this character. Maybe... I'd pick them up, but only because I know that they're so free to pick up because they're uh, quarter circle the character. And yes, I, I do mean to flame all you Faust players. Let's go. The increased knockback on 5H, sweep, etc. allows Faust to create distance from the opponent, meaning he can use what could this be more. The reduced startup for mix, mix, mix makes it easier, easier to use in combos while also making it harder for the opponent to interrupt when used in block strings. These sound like huge buffs for Faust, by the way. Air Dash, sped up the timing of the input buffer window. I think that means that you can cancel out of it faster. Crouching P, reduced upper hurt box. What? 2P needed a buff? Interesting. Interesting that you thought 2P needed a buff. 6P, increased knockback. Oh, that probably makes it worse. 
Actually, no, it makes it better because now that Mix Picks fixed faster, it's probably still going to combo. And now when you don't want to combo, you just want to send him back and go into the item. It's going to probably make your item stronger because they're farther away. So that's probably also a buff. Standing 5H, increase knockback. Probably fine. Sweep, increase knockback. Cool. Poggers. Mix, mix, mix. Decrease attack startup. That's fantastic. You can jail more stuff. Probably jail high lows easier from farther away. Scarecrow, PK versions, reduced lower hurt box. I'm not sure what the implication of that is. Milia Rage. I have no interest in ever trying this character. Same thing with Zato. Spoiler alert. The increased attack level of Tandem Top makes it less risky for Milia to use it in strings and during neutral. Tandem Top. I'm not sure what that is. She now has access to a powerful, powerful mix in more situations as she can cross up the opponent using Turbo Fall even in the corner. Yeah, okay. Why do they buff the tiny characters that are a million speed, bro? Why? I'm down to make my big bodies low tier. I want them to be low tier. Your tiny character should be low tier too, okay? <laughs> All right, 6k reduced recovery. Uh, that probably means maybe counter hit combos. I don't know if they already had that, but uh, obviously reduced recovery. Very nice to have always. Standing 5H now bounces opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback. They're adding combos to 5H, who would have thought? 6H decreased attack startup. Cool. Sweep, reduced recovery. Why? Oh, you know what that probably means? Reduced recovery not only means that they can throw down more in neutral, but it probably also means that uh, they might be able to block in time after sweep so they don't get guaranteed supered. That's pretty important for Amelia. Ground throw, frame advantage and distance after successful throw is now the same against all characters. It wasn't the same? That's wild. That is, I'd be molding. Wow. Turbo fall, quarter circle forward, K mid air. Uh, I think that's the one where they just go down really, really fast and cross up sometimes. Millie can now move to the other side of the opponent even when they're in the corner. Reduced her box behind Millie. Tandem top, increased attack level. Tandem top is the, it's the ring, isn't it? Or the disc. Increased attack level. So probably, does that mean more damage? Bigger counter hit, more damage, probably better roots as well. All right, so Milia's got some buffs. Oh God, Rama falls down there. Okay. Zato, the ability to move only Zato or only Eddie during break the law opens up new possibilities for strings. Okay, great. He needed better block strings, to be honest. For real, for real. The reduced hurt box and activation of Sun Void makes it more difficult for the opponent to interrupt it when used in block strings. Yeah, less interaction and better block strings is exactly what Zato needed. God bless. Love that, man. Love that. 6K, reduced recovery, decreased knockback. Jumping D, you sped up the timing when Zato pauses before the attack is active. Break the law. Only Eddie will now move when that input is whatever. Uh, Eddie will no longer move when the up is inputted. Uh, what are the inputs for that? Uh, nine and seven. Increase forward movement speed. Tension balance now decreases negative value increase when moving away from the opponent. Sun void reduced frontal hurt box. Okay, cool. Next up, Ramlethal Valentine. Praying for some nerfs. Pog. Okay. The additional range for crouching H makes it easier to go into highly damaging con makes it easier to go into highly damaging combos, making her more threatening at close range. Yeah. Jumping D now works better as a jump in due to the additional or due to the addition of a hitbox behind Ramlethal. Ramlethal needed Ramlethal needed four way mix ups. To be fair, I think we all know it. Ramlethal just needed four ways and cross ups. Can we all agree on that? Can I get ones in chat? Thank you. Arc system devs, I know you're in the chat. Let me see the ones because you thought she needed it. Okay, uh, as Error Lumo was a potent offensive tool for many situations, the damage and situation on hit have been reworked. Error Lumo. Oh, uh, seems to be Rekka. Uh, that makes sense. Crouching Age, expanded frontal, frontal hitbox. Jumping D, expanded hitbox and hurtbox behind the Ramathal. Error Lumo, all version, decreased damage on the Rekkas. Okay, that, that actually is a pretty big hit because they use that in literally every combo. And Aeroluma third hit, all versions. The opponent cannot recover after landing. What? It's not a hard knockdown anymore? Wait, that matters a lot, actually. 
Okay, you know what? Ram probably got net nerfed here. Yeah, I think Ram got net nerfed. But also, she didn't need any of those buffs. <laughs> but yeah, Ram definitely got nerfed. Next up, Leo Whitefang. Hopefully the same goes for this guy. I do also have some slight intentions though to uh, potentially play Leo. So we'll see. If they make Leo more fun, that's all I care about. I want to play fun characters. The adjustments to knockback and blowback for 6k and the increased range for Erstis, Calstis, Gustober makes them more viable in combos and forming strong block strength. Oh, fantastic. Sweep. Launching the opponent higher on hit gives Leo more of an advantage, making it easier for him to go into Okazemi. God bless. More four-way mix-up. Always four-way mix-up. And it should be from his sweep that goes full screen with running momentum and low crushes and anti-airs and is a low. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. 2D into cross-up back turn is pretty much what they're saying. Or 2D into back turn where you can threaten like cross-up and stuff, you know? I guess you would do cross up to get in there to begin with, but yeah. So, yeah, certain hurt boxes, expanded hurt box. Oh, okay, they're changing the hurt boxes. That's interesting. 6K, decreased knockback, decreased horizontal knockback distance. Sweep, now launch the opponent higher. Erstis, Kaltis, Gustober. Uh, expanded frontal hitbox and hurt box. Oh, that's the, what is it called? The, the thing, Lariat. That's his Lariat. It's not bigger and better so leo got buffed leo got buffed interesting very interesting i think uh leo is a character that i think i think it's fine that leo got these kinds of buffs i think it's fine we'll see how it plays out in game but i think it's fine okay nago okay before i read this i just want to talk about arc system works track record of buffing nago every single time not, okay, maybe not season one to season two patch, but every single other patch, they've gotten hard buffed. So we're seeing if they're continuing this pattern of buffing or if they're going to nerf Nago. We'll find out. Nagoro Yuki's defense now varies with the current amount of blood gauge. Wait, does that mean he's going to have like higher guts when he has higher blood? We'll say, okay. The damage and attack properties of his normal moves still increase the higher his blood gauge gets, but he now also takes heavier damage from the opponent meaning he needs to consider any risk he takes a neutral. Higher blood means he takes more damage. Wait, does that also mean he's just going to die on blood break? Wait, this might also mean that if he pops, he's going to be killed. Like, everyone will be able to TOD immediately. Like, theoretically, theoretically. Like, your first hit is going to be like when he's at, like, still at high blood, right? And it's going to go down. He might just die for that. That, okay, I like that nerf. I like that nerf. I like that nerf a lot. Next up is Crouching S's increased recovery as it was exceptionally powerful poke. Who would have thought? I hope you also change this 5k because that is debatably better. All right, Blood Gauge. Nagoriki's defense now varies with the amount of Blood Gauge. Good nerf. Crouching S, increased recovery. Good nerf. Far Standing S, final fall pit, reduced recovery. What? That's the his best move. He does it every time. <laughs> okay. Okay, dude, whatever. Uh, standing H, reduce lower hitbox. Reduce the lower hitbox. Is that a... Reduce the lower hitbox. So now it's going to be more susceptible to low profiles, I believe. And then Fukio back now reduces tension balance and now increases negative value. They went about nerfing Nago in a really weird way. We'll see how it plays out. It's really hard to tell if this is going to be like definitive a definitive nerf oh sorry wait let me rephrase it's definitely a definitive nerf but is it enough to make him like not top two de like degenerate character right we'll see next up giovanna this is a character that has no drip and i hope they stay like mid please for the love of god just stay as a mid character i don't want to see you in my games crouching hs now draws the opponent at creating major changes in her combos so they're giving Giovanna better combos. Wait, is that also going to make it? No, it's not going to be used on block. Okay. I was thinking vacuum, like they would actually vacuum it on block and then give her better strike throw. I hope that's not what that means though. I hope that's not that that's not what that means. But hopefully giving Gio better combos gives her some drip. Uh, using it with Soul Puente can lead to higher reward than ever before. What is Soul Puente? 
That is quarter circle back S. That that's cross up now, right? I believe that's the cross up. All right. Uh, she has access to more powerful combos in the corner due to a new wall bounce effect for standing 5H. They're gonna give her like wall, like soul wall bounces. Like with the 5H, it's like boom, boom, boom. You guys know what I mean? They bounce, or closer to May probably, is uh, probably what more people recognize. But uh, standing H now bounces the opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback, added wall bounce effect. Crouching H now draws the opponent in on hit or block. Oh God, it, they do mean vacuum on block. We'll see how it plays out. It might be two minus, who knows? Ground throw, frame advantage and distance after a successful throw is now the same against all characters. That's weird that some characters had that. Okay, Soul Puente, all versions, reduce lower hurt box. So it's now harder to poke is what they're, it's harder to challenge out. Which This is an annoying move, by the way, guys. They shouldn't have buffed this. Uh, now less likely to end up behind the opponent when the first hit, when the first hit hits an opponent near the corner. That okay, That's a buff for their combos, I'm pretty sure is what that's saying. Uh, maybe they get like accidental cross-ups and put themselves in the corner. So Puente, uh, okay, same thing. Oh, the other one was talking about the air one as well. All right, the first hit now launches the opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback. You can combo off it. The first hit now launches the opponent less than before when used multiple times in one combo. Okay. Uh, I still have pretty low interest in Giovanna. We'll see if people turn me. Angie's a character that I would play if they got big buffs, if their their pressure just got stronger. We'll see. Standing 5H now launch the opponent on ground and hit, making it possible to combo into Fujin into Rin. Interesting. And then going to Okazemi off of Isoka Tobi. Isoka Tobi. <laughs> I believe maybe that's Butterfly. Meaning he not only has access to more combo routes, but they also lead to better situations for him. That's great. I'm down to see that. Give Angie better Roki, better damage. Nagiha also gives Angie more of an advantage now due to the blowback adjustment, making it easier for him to maintain his offense. Which one's Nagiha? Is that uh, is that overhead? Or is that the, the fan throw? The low end. Okay. So Nagiha gives Angie more of an advantage now due to the blowback adjustment, making it easier for him to maintain his offense. So I think that means it is more pushback is what they're saying. So now he's still minus, but he's farther away, so he won't get punished and potentially can retake his turn. I cannot believe the happy chaos changes. Samson, I haven't gotten there yet. Don't you dare spoil me. Gold Lewis nerf or buff? Uh, Gold Lewis, I think, got buffed. Uh, okay. So let's read this. 6P, expanded frontal hitbox. Better 6P. Cool, that's fine. 5H. Now launch the opponent. Grounded hit, decreased horizontal blowback distance. Fusion, decreased hor horizontal blowback distance. So he stays closer? I'm not sure what they mean by this, but we'll we'll see. Uh, Nagiha, S after fusion, now launch the opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback. So it looks like Angie got some buffs. We'll see if it's enough to make him go outside of the uh, bottom like three for the first time in this game. We'll find out. You know, there's another character where I kind of just don't want to see them succeed. Uh, <laughs> she can now jump cancel the beginning of her hover dash. Okay, sure. This allows her to move a greater distance forward than with a standard jump. Combined with the reduction of Sultry Performance's landing recovery, she now has a greater arsenal of approach options for midair. All right, hopefully it, it just changes her neutral stuff, gives her some better neutral stuff. I'm fine with that. Don't give her better mix, bro, just please. I, I don't need more mind games there. There's like two mind games and it's already too much for me on this character. Dash. Startup can now be jump cancel. Sped up timing when Eno can block. That makes sense. Give her better dash blocks. She kind of needed it, especially in a in a world of happy chaos, right? Uh, the timing is now the same as when canceling the startup. Oh, the startup of a jumping attack with faultless defense. I see. Fixed a bug where it was possible to psych burst after a dash cancel. The motion will now be interrupted if a backwards direction has been input. Air dash, the motion will not be interrupted if a backwards direction has been input. Antidepressant scale, I believe that's the note. Added proximity requirement for the attack to connect. Expanded, oh, proximity to Eno for it to connect. I hope they, they probably also did that to Happy Chaos. I don't imagine that they add this to Eno and not Happy Chaos. I actually imagine, yeah, no, I'm, wrong. I'm calling it now. They added that to Happy Chaos, okay. Uh, expanded attack hitbox on hit or block. Stroke the big tree. All versions, stroke, reduced hurt box before movement begins. That makes sense. 
uh, the upper herb box of the attack steadily decreases as the move comes out as before. The change, this change reduces the herb box for a set timing when it was extended too high. I liked it extending too high. I could 5p it. Uh, Soul Tree Performance, KNS. So, which one is Soul Tree Performance? Oh, is that a... I don't know which one this is. Reduce landing recovery. I'm not sure what this one is. Air dive kick. Okay, okay. Let's run. Wait. Oh, God. No. This needs to stay punishable. If this isn't punishable anymore, I'm molding. If they can actually just do dive kick scot-free. Bro, in a world where Sin does dive kick and is minus 50, if Eno can do it from anywhere on screen and be even on block, I am absolutely molding. Okay, we already went through Goldoist. Next up, Jacko. I think it's a character that probably should get nerfed, but I don't think a lot of people play them, so I don't think they're going to get nerfed. The proximity change means that you can't throw out extended hurt box to interrupt note. Oh, wait. You can't throw out extended hurt boxes to interrupt note. I, I can't even visualize that. The proximity change means that you can't throw out extended hurtbox to interrupt note. At certain distances or ever? Like when it's too close to Eno? So you can't mash it on wake up or something? I... Anyways, I'm going to Jacko. I will figure it out later. Servants now fly higher and farther when hit with crouching S. Fantastic. Cool. More zoning and more zoning options in general. This makes it uh, viable not only as a starting point for offense, but also in powerful strings, making use of the time difference before the attacks. The change to the countdown. The countdown's launch on hit makes it easier for Jacko to go into a combo after blocking the explosion. Okay, uh, more offense. That's one way to buff Jacko, I suppose. Crouching S, change the servant's trajectory when hitting them with the attack. Will now move higher and farther. Dust attack, reduce frontal hurt box. After the attack, active frames end. So it's harder to punish... 5d okay servants fixed a bug causing unintended servant behavior when a servant's hitbox uh touched another servant under certain conditions okay i don't know if i've ever seen that bug throw servant all versions added a wall bounce effect uh didn't they already bounce off the wall in the corner or do they mean always i don't know we'll see uh, release servant D while holding servant will now register input when the button is held as well. Oh, so you can now uh, hold the button and do negative itch. Countdown adjust the launch increasing time when follow up attacks are possible. Okay, so Jacko got offense buffs all around. That's like I don't know. I don't think they should have buffed that. That seems rough. That seems like Jacko's getting really, really good. All right, we got to happy chaos. I pray to God you got nerfed to death, dude. I'm sorry. I love all you happy cast players. I hate your character. Although I will say I'm very disappointed that it doesn't say we removed happy cast from the game. That would just be a dream, but obviously we're not dreaming. Jumping D now draws the opponent in, making it easier to lead into an advantageous situation for chaos at close range. What is jumping D? Is that the, the cross up one? I think that's the cross-up. As 6k could be easily included in combos from any situation and was extremely powerful in maintaining offense on block, the attack startup has been increased. So no longer is going to frame trap from like 2k probably is what they're saying. It'll probably be interruptible. Uh, it no longer hits consecutively from crouching k. Oh, okay, perfect. Meaning different moves will be needed for different situations. That's cool. Uh... Sure. 6k. Increased attack startup. Now launch the opponent higher. Oh, cool. Uh, so it's a better combo tool. Success. Now launch the opponent higher. Okay, better combo tool. Jumping D. Now draws the opponent in on hitter block. Vacuum effect for better combos and better pressure. At the ready. Reduced recovery when activated with no concentration. Reduced recovery when activated with no concentration. That's a buff, right? Cancel aim can now be activated with the... Oh, okay. That seems broken, no? You can... So Happy Chaos can block with gun out now, right? 
Doesn't that just mean Happy Chaos can run around with his gun now and press down back to put it away? Or does it mean cancel aim from specifically from the the big shots? Is this a new thing? 1H cancels aim now. Like aim on the instead of just 2H. That's what I'm saying. Like you can put it away and block on time, right? Isn't that Aren't we aren't we talking about the same thing? You could do that before. It was just harder. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're making it easier. That, so you guys are gaslighting me. That's exactly what I said. Yeah, it's a buff. Now it's a it's a one input. I put my gun away and block. And guess what? Oh, it's on down back. Oh, what a difficult input. Who would have thought? Happy Chaos is fine. I have a hard time pressing down back. Okay, no problem. No problem. Scapegoat. Now reduces tension balance, now increases negative value. And curse now reduces tension balance, now increases negative value. Happy chaos, bro. I just... I'm so upset they're not addressing that the character is just... Balanced like a four-year-old superhero, dude. Like, he does everything. And they didn't address any of that, dude. <laughs> they're like, yeah, oh, yeah, let's give him vacuum, though. Oh man, Street Fighter 6 can't come soon soon enough, dude. Okay, next up, Biken. I'm praying this character got nerfed too. If you guys don't know my position on Biken, they are by far the easiest character to play in the game. The, if you want to improve very, very fast, you can just play Biken. You don't have to think a lot on offense. They kind of just do really good RPSs and have unreactable high-low. And uh, she uses meter well, strong mid-range game. And uh, of course, you have parry and all the mind games that come with it. Very strong character. Biken is more of a throw. <laughs> Biken is more of a threat at close range now. She can, uh, <laughs> can now easily follow up on cross up. Yo, Zanson makes him. Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you possibly doing this? This is the worst. This is the exact opposite thing that you should have done to Biken. Okay. Okay. By expanding the hitbox of the explosion part of Kenju, it now functions better as a poke and in combos. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Tatami Gaishi removed usage restriction. What? Okay, I, I'm not sure what that means. Was there a time they couldn't use it? Yo, Zanzen, decreased horizontal blowback distance of the later half of those active frames. Fantastic. And Ken, uh, Kenju expanded hitbox of the explosion. Fantastic. Awesome. Love that, man. Love that. No interest in playing Biken. This character is dripless. By the way, oh, also no interest in Happy Chaos. Low interest in Jacko. There we go. Now we're all caught up. Testament. No interest in Testament either. If I wanted to play Testament, I would just play Ram. I think Ram is more fun. Testament. Grave Reaper can now be used back to back. You don't mean that. You don't mean that. You actually don't mean that. This is a typo. It must mean you can't use it back to back. It has to be a typo. Meaning like there's a cooldown on using it. Certainly. Certainly. Crouching HS now draws the opponent in, opening up new uses in combos and block strings. Oh yeah. Testament block strings, just not strong enough. Crouching HS now draws the opponent in on hitter block, reduced launch. Grave Reaper, removed usage restriction. Grave Reaper, reduced knockback of the strike part. Nostrovia increased active frames of the first and second hits. You know what? All that being said, I can live with this. I can live with this. I can live with this. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, by the sounds of it, they had a restriction before and they removed that. Uh, so now they can use it like however often they want. Before they couldn't spam it. Now they can. We'll see how that works in game. I, I'm not a big fan of it, but overall, you know, I, I think Tesman was a strong character. They probably just got a little bit stronger. Hopefully, uh, it's not too annoying to deal with. Bridget. Oh, no, they didn't. This is a character I'm really afraid to see be good. I'm really afraid to see Bridget get really strong. Bridget has more opportunities to launch her offense from neutral due to the increased projectile speed and reduced recovery for stop and dash. That's already the most degenerate. It's like, 
That's already like a uh, stun dipper almost. It just, okay. Just something to throw out and neutral, I suppose. Uh, gonna be a really strong RC character like before. We'll see. Uh, she has more potent options available after rolling movement connects. Rolling movement, uh, just a roll in the air, I suppose. Uh, as the changes to the knockback and trajectory create, uh, create less distance with the opponent and leave Bridget at more of an advantage. Okay, I can live with that. That's cool. Crouching peak, expanded lower hurt box and hitbox. 6p now cause blowback on hit when the opponent is standing. I can live with that. Uh, command number four after slash. Expanded lower hitbox and hurtbox. Okay, these all seem fine. Stop and dash. Increased damage. Increased movement speed of projectile. Is stop and dash the... Am I getting this wrong? Is this not the scoot? Or is this something else entirely? Expanded proximity... Or is it just the yo-yo itself? This might just be the yo-yo. Oh, it's just the yo-yo. Okay, my bad. I I was uh I was reading this wrong. No, that's fine. Increase speed on the yo-yo and reduce recovery. Sure, sure. That that's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. My bad. I, I misread it. I misread it. All right, I didn't know the move. My bad. Rolling movement, decrease knockback, uh, increase decent speed on hitter block when activated as the yo-yo returns to Bridget. She now moves towards the yo uh, where the yo-yo is placed. Fix debug or double jump, air dash, and air back dash. Could not be used under certain conditions. Counter it, stay not ends at the same as the active frame. Starship. Fix debug with the opponent would sometimes enter a blocking pose after the active frames end. Kickstart my heart. Oh, this one is the roll. Expanded proximity requirement for the attack to connect. Break. Expanded upper hitbox. Reduced launch. Oh, that's probably good. That probably means combo off of it. Added tumble effect. Oh, it just means Oki after it. Okay. That actually is, I think that's way better for Bridget. This, these are really good buffs for Bridget. And hopefully, I, it doesn't seem like they're going to be degenerate buffs. It's just going to make the character more stable, I think. Which is, I think, fine. Yeah, the break buffs do seem kind of terrifying. I will admit, that seems very good to get tumble from that. Because that probably means they get the tumble, they throw yo-yo, and then they oki after it. So that's like another way to, uh, to get their offense going. And uh, return to the killing machine, all versions increased number of hits oh hopefully that super actually does damage now i think that's something they needed and last but not least sin kisuke i'm not going to read it yet i just want to give my spiel i think sin kisuke sucks in the current version of the game i think the character does need some buffs and uh he's just he's really just not volatile or sorry he is very volatile and his offense has very inherent weaknesses and his herb boxes are kind of cringe and his frame data is kind of cringe if the character gets changed in a very cool way, I do want to play this character more because I think they have a lot of potential to be a ton of fun and be like a really healthy thing for this game. What? There are no character specific changes for Sin as he was re released quite recently. Only the universal changes to the tension gauge risk level base. This is cope. Just say you didn't do your job. Okay, well, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, hopefully, we have a good six months ahead of us in this current version of the game uh, before Season 3 begins. I feel so sorry if you had hope for Sin, uh, because Arc System Works doesn't. They actually want you to have zero hope for Sin. And, uh, yeah, everyone, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I appreciate you, uh, the live people, for watching the stream and the YouTube people for checking out the video. Everyone have a wonderful day. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more videos like this. If you guys like my reactions and whatnot. And uh, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.